do you need to create a sales agreement within Salesforce? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Salesforce account. Now, if you don't already have JotForm integrated with your Salesforce account, you can grab it for free from the App Exchange. but I'm gonna go ahead and jump over into my JotForm tab. And for this example, we're gonna create a brand new form. So the top left-hand corner, we're gonna choose to create a form. And for this example, I'm actually gonna utilize a template. So over on the left-hand side, let's go ahead and do a quick search for some sales agreements and looks like we have a few so let's go ahead and stick with this sales agreement the very first one let's do a preview option and we can take a quick scroll perfect let's go ahead and click that green use template button now anytime we start from scratch or we utilize a template like we did we need to integrate it with Salesforce so over on the right hand side underneath our form designer we have the Salesforce integration and the first thing it's going to ask us is do we want it to create a new record or do we want it to find an existing record so for this let's go ahead and create a brand new record and I'm going to choose to do it in my account object and you can see it automatically is mapping the Salesforce fields with the JotForm field. So let's go ahead and choose our buyer as the name. And if there are any additional fields you would like to map, you can do that as well. Let's go ahead and do next. And now it's asking, do we need to look for additional records to avoid any duplicates? And I definitely want to do that just in case. So we're going to turn that on and we'll choose the account name, which is the buyer. So we'll do save. Now we can click on the buyer's name and we can see that this field is connected to our account name within our account object. Now, as you scroll through, if you're utilizing a template and you're missing fields, you can always add your own on the left-hand side where it says add form element. If there's anything you're missing, you can easily easily drag and drop it in. But I think we're good to give this a test. So I'm gonna go up in the top right hand corner. Let's go ahead and preview this form. And we'll do fill form. And we'll go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Let's go ahead and submit. Now, the great thing about this is not only is this information in our Salesforce account, it is also being stored in JotForm tables. So if I head to the top left-hand corner, we see we're in the JotForm builder. If I jump over to tables, I can see all of the information right here. Perfect. So let's go ahead and jump over to our Salesforce account tab and take a look at it there. And here is Kirsten. It really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about creating sales agreements within Salesforce with JotForm, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.